Liverpool fans have every reason to exult in their team's attacking prowess, boasting one of the Premier League's most formidable forward lines. The likes of Darwin Nunez, Mohamed Salah, Cody Gakpo, Diogo Hotta, and Luis Diaz consistently feature on the score sheet, contributing goals game after game. However, a recurring concern persists at the back for Jurgen Klopp's men. Despite their offensive prowess, the team has managed just two clean sheets in ten games across all competitions, underscoring evident defensive frailties. Klopp is acutely aware of this issue, one that plagued his team throughout the previous season, leading to their uncharacteristic exclusion from the Champions League after a consistent six-year presence. The defensive conundrum is compounded by recurrent injuries among his players, compelling the management to commit resources towards rectifying this situation. Numerous potential defenders were linked with Liverpool during the summer transfer window, yet not a single new addition materialised at Anfield. Klopp, however, now pins his hopes on the academy pathway to address this issue, assuring Liverpool fans of a solution to their backline concerns. Jarrell Kwanzaa emerges as a beacon of hope, potentially influencing Klopp's decision against splurging on defensive depth. His burgeoning potential seems to have restrained Klopp's urge for excessive spending. Following commendable performances in Premier League 2 and a lone spell at Bristol Rovers, featuring 16 times in League 1, Kwanzaa's name has gained trust for increased involvement with the first-team squad. His unexpected debut in a challenging fixture against Newcastle, where Liverpool played with 10 men and trailed, saw Klopp entrust Kwanzaa to replace Joel Matip. While some fans might view this decision as audacious, Klopp's confidence in debuting Kwanzaa speaks volumes about the youngster's readiness and the manager's belief in his abilities. Klopp, however, sees things through a different lens. His strategy in fielding Nunez and Kwanzaa was aimed at bolstering possession for his team, while seeking to catch the opposition's defence off guard with the attacker's prowess. Aligning with Klopp's vision, after Darwin Nunez and Jarrell Kwanzaa entered the fray, Liverpool's possession surged to 43%, a notable uptick from the initial 39% following Van Dijk's red card within the first 50 minutes. It was during this spell that Nunez netted two crucial goals, catalyzing a remarkable turnaround at home against one of the league's top teams, despite being a man down. For Jarrell Kwanzaa, his Liverpool debut epitomized the dream entry many players aspire to achieve. His seamless integration continued beyond that match. Just two games later, Kwanzaa earned his starting debut, stepping in due to Trent Alexander-Arnold's injury, Van Dijk's absence, and Konate's recent recovery leading Klopp to position him alongside Matip while assuming the role of the right fullback in place of Joe Gomez. Against Wolves, Kwanzaa showcased a solid defensive performance, tallying three successful tackles, two interceptions, five clearances, and winning two aerial duels. His defensive contribution stood out, with no other player in the match matching his defensive actions. This stalwart display prevented further goals for Liverpool at Molino. Remarkably, Kwanzaa exhibited adeptness in distribution as well, orchestrating 80 passes and 91 touches, including three successful long passes. Notably, he emerged as the player with the highest passing accuracy in the game, boasting a remarkable 96.3% success rate with his passes while adept initiating attacks from the backline. Klopp's acclaim for Kwanzaa's performance wasn't confined to just the Reds' game. In the League Cup clash against Leicester City, Kwanzaa showcased an even more remarkable display. Notably, he topped the charts for passes and touches in the match, amassing an impressive 104 touches and completing 89 passes with a 91% success rate. His knack for two successful long passes was instrumental in marshalling the defence's transition into attack. What truly set him apart was the assist he engineered for Hotter's goal intercepting Leicester's counter-attacking move and swiftly turning it into an offensive opportunity. This diverse skill set showcases the completeness of his attributes, underscoring why Klopp may be holding off on pursuing new defensive recruits. Klopp's decision not to seek new defensive talent seems validated, considering the potential he sees in Jarrell Kwanzaa, a player he dubbed as super-talented, during pre-season.
Kwanzaa has consistently delivered when entrusted with responsibilities, earning commendation for his contributions to the first-team squad. With Van Dijk approaching 32 years and his history of injuries, Klopp faces the task of securing a suitable successor. Kwanzaa's potential suggests he could step into Van Dijk's shoes in the future, carrying the mantle as his potential successor. While reveling in the delights of his debut season, there's still ample ground for Jarrell Kwanzaa to cover in refining his game. Embraced by Liverpool's top-tier coaches and mentored by seasoned veterans, Kwanzaa finds himself in a nurturing environment ripe for learning and growth. The aspiration is for Kwanzaa to steadily evolve, harnessing his potential under Liverpool's tutelage before assuming a more frequent leadership role in the Reds' backline. Standing tall at 190 centimetres, Kwanzaa boasts an ideal physique for a central defender. His blend of speed and agility positions him as a reliable force in one-on-one -on -one defensive confrontations, a quality notably on display in his standout performance against Wolves. His inclusion against Newcastle stemmed from his ability to orchestrate passes that penetrate the opposition's press, aiding Liverpool in retaining possession despite being down a player. Kwanzaa's composed demeanour and bravery were evident in pivotal moments, notably during Hotter's third goal against Leicester City. His growth trajectory is closely monitored by Liverpool's coaching staff, who witness his evolution day by day. Rigorous training regimes will further sculpt him into a robust and athletic prospect in the coming years. Amidst the glitz and glamour of professional football, Kwanzaa's calm and unassuming nature serves as a testament to his grounded persona. Klopp, notably jubilant at Kwanzaa's ongoing development, perceives in him a new jewel unearthed from the academy. While the process of refinement requires time and patience, Klopp's stewardship, demonstrated in his nurturing of Trent Alexander-Arnold, positions Kwanzaa as the most promising discovery since Alexander-Arnold emerged seven years ago.